Well, do you want healthier, more fulfilling relationships? Anna Kendall and Gerald Parsons join the table to share about the seven life languages and how they can help you better understand yourself and those around you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy our content. And remember to click that notification bell so you can stay up to date on our latest post. Is it easy to get along with some people whereas with others you just can't seem to understand them and no matter how hard you try why does it feel like there's always a certain level of frustration within the relationship well it's tempting to believe you're dealing with a difficult person but you're most likely just miscommunicating so today's special guests are here to tell us more about the life languages and how to apply them in our everyday lives First, join me around the table as someone who believes in the life languages, my daughter, Rachel Ann Brown. You believe in these? I believe in it. I hire and fire by it. Why do you believe in it? <laughs> because I did it wrong for so long, and I would always feel frustrated. At work, specifically, I'd feel frustrated, like, man, I, just, I felt like a bad leader because mm -hmm. I just kept putting people in the wrong Or even positions. understanding your mother, because our <laughs> first languages are different. Exactly. And yeah. so once I understood how people communicated, I could put them in the right positions, and it was literally like life-changing mm -hmm. and it, yeah. it really does it really helps people understand you and it helps you understand other people right communication in april simons i think the one of the great things about life language is it comes from the word of god it does and it not only helps with work but it helps with your family uh -huh. you know got all these kids and you got a ton of them different personalities <laughs> it helps so much and i learned it right here that's right <laughs> cindy murdoch you're actually a coach yes what you call a life language coach, and you do that here at Daystar. And uh, have you found that people understanding what their languages are will help them in the workplace? Oh, absolutely. It helps them flourish. And I think the thing that I love that it does is we learn to celebrate each other rather than be judgmental. Yeah. And if we allow that to happen with each other mm -hmm. instead of trying to change each other, mm -hmm. it's an amazing scenario together. Yeah. Uh, Anna Kendall, who is the founder Fred and Anna Kendall of Life Languages. The Lord gave you this how many years ago? You know, it was in the late 80s that we started playing with this, or the mid 80s. And part of it was like, you know, you're speaking Russian. I don't understand it. <laughs> or, or you're speaking Spanish. I mean, you it and was, Fred did not have the same no, language. No, we did not. <laughs> Had many years of frustration. And finally, when the Lord sh started showing this to us, Fred remembered some of his uh, Marine Corps interactions with different people and he remembered how they different ones would respond to bad news and you know different ways mm -hmm. and he started seeing that some people were emotive some were cognitive and some were just action oriented mm -hmm. so that started it and then god showed us that it lines up with scripture in which romans is 12. yes in romans, romans 12, 12 the seven motivational gifts yes. mm -hmm. gerald parsons you're now a part of life languages yes uh we've uh i've been involved with fred and anna for 30 years but in the last five years on a daily basis. Yeah. It's such a blessing. And uh, to, we can tell story after story after story of how lives have been changed, families yeah. have been changed, marriage have been, marriages have been changed. So um, it's, an, it's just an awesome tool. Well, you know, the, um, the, on the, the seven life languages, there are two that are kinetic, which means you move first. So you either think feel or move first. Like right. you will settle in. You, Jesus would have had all seven in perfect balance. That's right. Okay. Right. Yes. So um, th there are two that are kinetic, meaning you move first. Right. And then there are three that are the, uh, cognitive. Cognitive, cognitive. Where you think first. Where you think first. Thank goodness we got more thinkers there. <laughs> yeah. And then two that are emotive. emotive. And we, it means you feel first. Right. And, yeah. and what it is, is those three different categories are people that it's how they respond to life, how yeah. they respond to incoming communication, how they just respond to their world yeah. And we first. call those intelligences. Yeah. Yeah. Those three categories are three different intelligences. And we all have all of them just in descending order. Mm -hmm. right. Like a beautiful and rainbow. So let's yes. just... Let's go through them really quick because we're going to play a little game in just a minute. But um, let's just start. Um, I'll just go between the two of you, well, the three of you here. Um, okay. Mover. 
the mover is a, is a natural leader, very innovative, very creative, um, loves to get out front and lead. And so the positive qualities of the mover is that they're decision makers. Yeah. And, they, and they're, they may not be right all the time, but they're going to be right most of the time. And John the Baptist would have been a mover mm -hmm. in the Bible. Elijah, Elijah. Yeah. prophetic. Yeah. Right. Yes. But if they're unhealthy... Oh, if, really, if they're unhealthy, you need to find some place to hide. Because yeah. <laughs> all the languages are great. I just yeah, want to yeah, say, yeah. it doesn't matter which language you are, they're all fantastic. When, when you're healthy and if mm -hmm. you're in alignment yeah. with yes. the Lord, that's right. They're really amazing. Okay, you talk for just a moment about doers. Doers are practical, they're pragmatic, list makers. They, list makers, they love to do first things first, finish Detail. their list, yeah. complete what they started, and they are. They're actually wonderful to have around and to live with and work with. And they uh, do finish, usually. They like to finish. Yeah. One of their main objections is to finish what they yes. start. And details yeah. are important to do it. Yeah, yes. details are very Big important. Time. You don't very want to interrupt important. a doer no. while they're doing it. No, <laughs> no. Right. How many times did I hear your dad say, honey, you're in heaven now, you can't say it anymore. But <laughs> he would say to me... Doers don't like to be interrupted. So yes. true. Yes. Like, I'm doing. Like, yeah. Why did I teach him yeah. these life languages? Know, that's what I I say. Okay, you tell us about influencers. Okay, influencers, they are our cheerleaders in life. They're the, the, the people that see the glass is half full. Um, they are very logical, believe it or not, even though oh. their motive, they're logical thinking and they can think on their feet really fast. Yeah. They know how to close a deal. Uh, they are they're great people's people. communicators, people they're party. negotiators, yeah. they're networkers, they're people people. They get energy from right. people. That's my and, husband, Josh. And yeah. an influencer in the Bible would have been Peter. Yes, Peter, absolutely. And a doer in the Bible would, would be Moses been. or Martha. Yeah. Moses or Martha, yeah. for sure. Okay, we'll go back to you, Jerry, and explain our wonderful, glorious responders. Yes. Oh, our responders <laughs> are the <laughs> sweet <laughs> people on the planet. <laughs> These are the folks that feel first, and they feel deeply. Now, responders are generally one-to-one. -one. Yeah. They're not like the influencers, one-to-many. Yes. The responders, one-to-one. -one. Mm -hmm. And so um, they usually are um, very easy to entreat. They are very, um, they are, they're very deep feelers. And, um, and, res and responder is the number one language in, in our database that most people speak first. Wow. So, and, and it's also it's also a very courageous language yes. in that a lot of the pro football players have mm -hmm. responder as high yeah. because they their passion Passionate. their yeah. passion very energizes well, yeah, them. I think so the it's not a responders wimpy. are probably the two most mm -hmm. high passion. They are. And Absolutely. But re responders like want to have something that attaches to their heart to be yes. passionate about. Yes. Yeah. And they don't care how uh, much you, they don't care how, what, how, much, how much you know. know. No so they know how, how much you care. care. Right. And King David would be and, a responder. And a lot of times they're in music. Yes. yes. And, yes. and in creative. Creative. art. <laughs> in acting. Yes. In very arts. creative yes. artists, yes. too. Yes. Yeah. Shapers, they're cognitive. and They are cognitive. They're born leaders. Yeah. That's my second. Yes. And the That's thing about second. the shaper of all the other cognitives that I think is amazing is well, they're all amazing, but this yes. is just a unique thing is shapers think and they move into action really fast. Mm -hmm. That's why you're so decisive. Mm -hmm. You know, you can think it and you move into action. They are great delegators, mm -hmm. which makes them a great and leader. Nehemiah would have been a yeah. shaper in the yeah. Bible. Absolutely. And yes. they bring people on board. That's what's yeah. great about they a shaper. Focused. They shapers say, are planners. They are yeah. oh, And plan, you gotta have plan, a plan. plan. Yes. If you don't they have a plan, how plan. come you don't have a plan? <laughs> That's right. They live by the plan. They're always working the plan. <laughs> yes, and if you don't have a plan, I'll give you mine. That's right. <laughs> That's why we, we do television. Marcus was the live. Let's do live. Let's be spontaneous. He yes. may say He's or do anything in the way. Pull that clip up. Let's have that person sing that song. And I'm like on table talk, like, okay. Okay, we have a schedule that we're, you know, it's all planned out, you yeah. know. So, okay, Shaper, let's go back. Producers. Producer. That's cognitive and as well. It is yes. cognitive, but it's also the least spoken first language. Yeah. Producers are extraordinarily uh, gifted in, in managing. In saving. They, they're the they best manage well. managers ever. They're the mm -hmm. best managers. They're the best Resourceful. people with finances. Mm -hmm. The best. Uh, they are. They you want to trust your money with the producer. Absolutely. Right. Or you want a producer on your team. <laughs> this yeah, is a producer yeah. right here. Very resourceful. <laughs> you know, a guy like me who's a mover, shaper, influencer, 
I need a producer on my team. Yeah. Because yeah. he's going to say, you, we can't afford to do that. <laughs> yeah, that's right. right. And in the Bible, Joseph would have been a producer. Oh, yeah. perfect. Yeah. And look at what he did. Save nations. He was nations. probably a shaper producer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. he had a plan, and then he and saved he his plan. people, yes. and yeah. he saved all the grain and oh, all yes. of that. Yes. Yes. And then the last, number seven, contemplators. Contemplator is one of the most beautiful life languages, although it's the most different. And it's Paul, also, Apostle Paul would have been a contemplator. Would have been. Uh, it's also uh, another cognitive. The, the contemplators are deep. They're deep yes, thinkers. Yes. They may know more than anybody. They, they statistically have the highest IQ as a first language, yeah. uh, as first speaker of contemplator. They may know more than anybody, but they may not tell you. Now, influencers may have no idea what you're talking <laughs> about. Tell you. Art movers may have no idea, but I mean, we've got an opinion. <laughs> but the contemplators, you have to say, what do you think? And yeah. then you'll be amazed yes. right. at what they at tell the you. Yeah. So yeah. a lot of scholars, a lot of teachers, yes. a lot of professors, yes. mm -hmm. a lot of they're writers. They're very strategic, they're yeah. very smart, but they're very slow. Yeah, they And are. they like their well, own space. You know, one of the cool things about the contemplator language, if you're working with a contemplator, you should always give them a deadline. Yes, yeah. give them Because time. if you leave it open-ended, they will contemplate until Jesus comes back. And also yeah. the thing about <laughs> contemplators and the workplace specifically is they have to have time to recharge. Yep. That's right. So if you're constantly trying to get them to work late or on the weekends, they're just going to fall apart. They need that time away to just... To process. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So those are the seven languages. And, and we, we just, all speak all seven of them. We speak. We have all seven. In order. You can take a test, but you'll yes. usually... Two or three will be kind of your, your yes. main ones that you, you um, communicate in. It's interesting when you're dating, though... You just be like an awesome yeah, and right. even. Then oh, you get David. married and you settle into the real thing. I know, David. Y'all yeah, would have thought David had had responder way up there what, when we what, were dating. What's really great about y'all and all of this is you help husbands and wives yes. that yes. cannot communicate in their button heads. Yes. And yes. Really yes. As a matter of fact, we are starting to focus more on yes. marriages again. We started Yay. off with marriages and churches. Then we had so many people ask us about business and corporate work. Mm -hmm. So we, we did a whole rollout on that and we're now now back again to Good. marriages and churches Wonderful. because there is such a tremendous need. And there is a test, by the way, yes. that you can take. How much does it cost to take the test? Well, there's two, but most people take what we call the personal profile. You just go to lifelanguages.com. And how much does it cost? It's $49. $49. It's very, like you get... Yeah, it's 20 about pages. 25, 20 pages. 25 pages <laughs> that explain everything. Okay. It will change your life. It will. All right, so everybody look at, pick a card up and your first one, just look at your the first one, Rachel Starr. The short or the long? Yeah, is it's the short a one. And, okay. And we're going to all guess oh, okay. what this person is. Okay, I'm going to read the scenario. Oh, okay. and so it says, Blanca's mom is always busy achieving and accomplishing things, and she feels like her mom never wants to spend time just talking and connecting with her. Okay. Okay. Can we oh, cheat? that could be two. Oh. Oh. That could be two. Oh. Yep. I know. I'm going to nope. say this. This one. Which one is it? It could be either one. The reason that I say influencer <laughs> is because influencers talking, need to connect. Talking and yes, connecting. Talking and the connection is the, the biggest words. thing to yeah. me. Because responders want that one-on-one -on -one time. Right. So that's yes, where it was a yes, little so bit So it can be either one, but and that child needs some attention. Yeah. <laughs> it could be either one. Okay, April, okay. read yours. Jaden's daughter has a hard time following through with commitments when she doesn't feel like it. <laughs> and he can't understand why she doesn't realize the importance of keeping her word. What language is his daughter? Okay. Probably feel. It's responder. Yeah. Yeah. responder. And you know, the, thing, the yeah. thing that was interesting, though, when you said that is movers need you to keep your word. Yeah. Right. That's why they, I, was, I was like, I was going I between the two. I was going yeah. between the two. Okay. Um, Jared is a manager at a large business, and a few of his employees always send long, over detailed emails. He doesn't understand why they can't be more concise. I know this yes. one. Yes, <laughs> be direct, no fluff. Mover, mover, mover. You know, mover. Actually, mover, it's a mover or shaper. Mover yeah. is my first language, and my husband's an influencer. So what I do is I send him my emails sometime, and I say, can you add the little fluff, you know, make it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we work together as a team. That's That's great. Great. Mover, movers want the detail, I mean, yeah. the... Bullet Bottom points. Line. Yes. Just give Bottom me the line. top three well, and things. And shapers too, right? Yes. They're kind yeah. of, to I'm some kind of degree, like but that. they think differently. Yeah. Yeah. A shaper yeah. is is comparing the information to the plan. Thank okay, you. Cindy, we might turn it up. Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Matthew loves spending time with his wife, but sometimes she will talk nonstop, and he feels like. 
He doesn't even have a chance to breathe, let alone think, oh, should we wonder who that is? Who could that possibly be? <laughs> a <laughs> contemplator. I, I, th I say yeah. he's a contemplator. Wait, oh, he's I him. Yeah. I, don't know. Okay. I thought he was talking about his wife. Oh, yeah. his wife. Oh, his wife? Yeah, I was talking about the oh, wife. I should, I should pay more attention. And he, no, no. <laughs> no See, you're right. It's contemplator. It is. It is him. He yeah. wants to spend time and she won't talk, and I, I was thinking of her. <laughs> yeah, so, okay. okay. All right, Rachel. Okay. So Cameron's fam family was moving, and he planned and organized the whole thing. Mm -hmm. But the day of the move, only he and his daughter had their stuff ready at the scheduled time, so everything took twice as long as it should have, and Cameron feels disrespected and frustrated about the whole situation. <laughs> hello, this is my life. I am a shaper. Hello, <laughs> hello. Yes. This is my yes. life, too. If yeah. we set the time, were... be on time. That's yes. right. That's yes. right. Yep. And if you have a list, follow it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, April. Okay, y'all ready? Jennifer enjoys mentoring young women from her church by helping them realize their true potential and what God is calling them to do with their lives. But sometimes she's Frustrated by their lack of initiative and follow through. Huh. Well, I don't know what that one is. Now that's a little. Well, we'll just. I was going to say. Oh, oh Shaper. Wow. Oh, it's Shaper. I said Doer. I said Doer. I said Influencer. I said both. <laughs> Obviously, both. I, I think it's know. a combination of Responder yeah. Doer. Okay. All right. And I just thought the producer wanted her to manage their lives. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. These people see. need counseling. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is a long scenario. We're going to read a couple of these to help you understand. Deb's life language is doer. Deb and Tim decided that this weekend they would redo the backyard. Deb made a list of things she wanted to accomplish. Saturday rolled around and the family got to work. As the day went on, things were not progressing as planned. Tim was taking too long strategizing the best way to reshape the flower beds for optimum sprinkler coverage. That's a shaper. <laughs> and their two boys were spending too much time joking around with each other. That's the influencer. And Tim could see that Deb was now angry. How can Tim defuse the situation, Anna? Well, I would think that Kim is a doer. Yes. Or shape her because she had made the plans and she wanted things to go in a practical, smooth way. So yeah. it would be one of these two that she is doing. But then along comes her husband who is shaping or and shaping. Or a contemplator, don't you think? He's strategizing. That's true. He's thinking through before starting. And it's really smart because he wants to make sure the water the is going to hit the flower. That's, well, that's, that's practical, yeah. too. That, yeah, that's he can be a high, high producer because he's wanting to maximize the water potential. Mm -hmm. And the, so... <laughs> So it's just really all falling apart, but they need to sit down and discuss this <laughs> instead of be frustrated with each other. Okay, you have a long one to read. Okay, Jill is a contemplator. Jill's supervisor held a meeting about doing mid-quarter assessments on current projects. Jill asked, why is this necessary when team leaders do weekly assessments? Before the boss can answer, Terry chimes in and says, he'll help gather the data and do the assessment reports. The meeting ends and Jill leaves frustrated. Later, her coworker Terry asks her to help with the assessments discussed in the meeting. Jill says, These are a waste of time. An hour later, Jill is called into her supervisor's office. A coworker has complained about her attitude. How can the supervisor apply the life languages to this situation? Okay, so the contemplator was, was frustrated, right? She's, Jill is a contemplator. Jill is a contemplator. Okay. Okay. Yes, that's right. Very Jill, frustrated. Yeah, contemplators. Um, are deep thinkers, obviously, and one of the problems with a contemplator is if they don't see the value mm -hmm. of what's going on, they their filter question is, am I really interested? Right. right. And, and if you're not really interested, then the way you manage contemplators is to get them interested. And you say things like, I really want to know what you think about this. Yeah. Tell me not how you feel, Right. Tell me what you think. think. Right. And then you engage them. Don't tell me what you're going to do. Right. Yeah. right. You, because they're thinkers. So exactly. have you ever noticed that contemplators say, well, I think. Yes. And responders Ab say, well, I feel. Yes. Are they Absolutely. more procrastinators? Who? The contemplators? Oh, no, no, they're not procrastinators. They're, they just, they're just no. thinking. They think it out. Oh, okay. Yeah. They can look like procrastinators. Right. I, had a, I had an employee one time who was in, the marketing, in my marketing department, mm -hmm. and he was looking out the window all the time. But when he came to, he was a contemplator, when he came to the meeting, he said brilliant things. Because uh, he so, was thinking. Yes, because he was this, thinking, and I gave him space to do that. This is what oh, yeah. I always say. Like, if you have a mover and a contemplator, a mover will just go without even thinking, and their way to the end might look like this, where the contemplator will just sit there, 
they'll think it through. The mover's already halfway, but the mover's, you know, figuring yeah. it out and pivoting as they go, and then the contemplator just does a straight exactly. line. Because <laughs> they've That's already true. thought through right. everything. Because right. so they've thought right. it through. And yes. contemplator is the only one of the seven languages mm -hmm. That has to refuel yes. Yes. by being alone. By being alone. Mm -hmm. yep. yes. And so they Contemplator energize. is my fourth one, and I'm over yeah. 50. Yes. So okay. that's yeah. like at the end of the day, for my going to the mm -hmm. bathtub, you yeah. know, Marcus would be like, honey, how long are you going to take? <laughs> you know, about, I'm recharging. about 30 minutes. <laughs> yes, you know, yes. about 30 minutes, honey, and I'll be back. But that little recharge is important for people yeah. who but have that. that also really helps people that are married because if you're married to a Contemplator and you have a responder wife, who's feeling all the well, time. Well, no, like Susie and Jonathan, because they talked about that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Su Susie said she couldn't understand why Jonathan didn't come home from work and just be like, da 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 da, -da. Oh, yeah. This exactly. happened, that happened, come on and talk to me, let's have fun. Yeah. And he would just immediately go to his office and exactly. just want some downtime because yeah. he'd been around people all day. So yeah. what happens is Susie feels rejected, and when she then enters Jonathan's world in there, he feels attacked or he feels yeah. invaded. Yeah. Right. So they both... But now she yeah, now understands. They understand it. Yes. She said, give him his little bit yeah. of time. Then he comes out then and gives me emotion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's yeah. so important. And that's how a great scenario of how these can be so mm -hmm. critical and it crucial is. to it, understanding it yourself. And the other thing about the workplace is we have people take this test. What I love about this is it's based on the Word of God. Amen. Yes. So, right. And so many are based on Hippocrates or that's what right. the, the thoughts yeah. of men. This actually comes from the Word yes. of God. Absolutely. And we have all of these. Mm -hmm. So let me go through this real quick. What is the filter for a responder? Do you real do I do you really care? Mm. Okay, do you really care? Yes. What is the, the filter for doer? Are you doing your share? Are you doing your share? Mm. Yeah. Are you doing your share? <laughs> and what is the filter for producer? Are you, Are managing? you managing well? <laughs> yeah. Are you managing well? Wow. And what is the filter <laughs> for influencer? Are we, Are we connecting? Yes. yes. Are we connecting? Are we connect yes. yes. And then what is the filter for What's shaper? Do you have a you plan? Do you have a plan? Okay, I know all about that. And what about contemplator? Am, Am I really, really interested? interested? You know what's interesting? All of the other languages are outward. Uh -huh. This one's inward. Inward. Interesting. Wow. Yeah. And then mover. What's your motive? What's your motive? What's your motive? Mm -hmm. yeah. what's, your what's your motive? motive? Yeah. I know. I've heard that one say that a lot. Of <laughs> That's yeah. why they want bottom line. Don't yes. no yeah. read your story. <laughs> okay, people. here's mine. Uh, Carl's primary li life language is mover. Carl's been married for 18 years to Catherine. Their son David is 17. Carl, Catherine, and David agree that Saturday they will clean out the garage together so they can sell some things at their yard sale the following weekend. But on Saturday, Catherine forgot she signed up to volunteer at their church's community outreach, and David spent the night at a friend's house <laughs> and didn't come home until 4 in the afternoon on Saturday. Now there's tension in the house. How can they address Carl's frustrations? Because he's a mover. You have a mover in distress. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Very frustrated. Go ahead. Yeah, you know, um, the, one of the ways that I, because I'm a mover, okay, so I understand what distress feels like yes. as a mover. So one of the ways I have to give myself permission mm -hmm. to move into another language. Uh, okay. So oh, that's good. Yeah, because because if you try to stay elevated in a lower language mm -hmm. too long, mm -hmm. you will go into distress. Yes. Because you're not you're you're that's just not natural for yeah. you. So as a natural mover, mm -hmm. if I need to be more responder, which is my last language, Mine too. then I have to dive into the characteristics, attributes, and qualities wow. of that language that resonate with me mm -hmm. and then use that to mitigate the issue. That's mm -hmm. so smart. Yes. Wow. That's good. And um, good. The, so we said about contemplators, they need downtime to mm -hmm. refuel. Mm -hmm. So if you're married to a contemplator, you know, Give them a little space, they'll exactly. come back. Okay, but the most important thing for a mover is they need action. Yes. So even if you can't do it then, what I would say in a good scenario is if the mover communicated, I need action, they, they said, well, we can't do it now, but can we shift and do it then? So at least we know there's some yes. movement. Right. Like, Something to look forward right. to. Right. And they, they need to commit and stay committed. And sometimes like, I'll text my team, and they can't do something right away, but they'll just say, I'm on it, or yeah. I, I got it, or something. And then yeah. as a mover, I know... We're moving okay. forward. Yeah, and you know, you've got several on your team that do not speak any of your languages, mm -hmm. and this has helped you so much. Oh, yeah. my goodness. But in, the other thing is responder is the only language that if it's first, mm 
Mm -hmm. It's transparent. Right. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And so that's the second language. That. Okay, it, it just like a transparent piece of glass. Why do you think that is? Because we're trying to hide behind our feelings or what? Uh, what I, is that? I think it is a lot of a, a, a social society, family of origin. So many families did not allow feelings or, or mm -hmm. they thought the yeah. kids were using the feelings to and manipulate. We need everybody to be okay. Yeah, everybody's got to be okay. So I think that that some t first language responders, you just see that they're a responder and that's clear. Others, you don't, you see that second language and sometimes you're even surprised that that first language is responder. Mm -hmm. yeah. But the beautiful part I think about that or any of the languages is that, let's say there's a responder shaper, that responder to me warms that shaper. Absolutely. It softens yes. the it's shaper. It's really true. That's yes. what she says about I me. was nervous yes. because I hired an assistant who was a responder producer. And because I'm a mover, I'm really direct and bold and responders have a lot of feelings. But she ended up being the <laughs> best assistant ever because yes. her responder was either yeah. I saw that manager and that producer and she kept things organized and moving. Plus responders love to please and, she was so and they love to protect. So, so she'll be a good one. Yes. Yes. And the mover w really respects that producer. Yes. Because yeah. that mover is, is moving very fast yes. and a producer can keep up. Yes, yeah. and the producer's sure. going behind the mover and like shaping. <laughs> yep. and, and what do you think, like, I mean, we said there's probably more responders in the world, first language, than any. What, what do you think is second? Influencers? Isn't it doer? I think doer, yes. Doers, doers. yes. yeah. And, then, and I think re the reason, God knew there would be a lot of hurting people in the world, mm -hmm. so he made more responders who can mm -hmm. be sensitive to the hurts yes. of others. Yes. He and merciful. Also, <laughs> merciful, that's right. God also knew that the world is going to keep moving if we can keep the things done yeah. that are necessary, the practical yeah. things. Yeah. And that's where the doers come along. They clean the house, they do the yard, they change Sometimes, the Sometimes, though, doers can get stuck in the tactical, because if they have 15 things on the list and there's yeah. 10 easy, they're going to the 10 easy because they want to mark stuff off the list. That's right. Versus focusing on those larger strategic right. things. They so sometimes they have that. to really That's You right. know, when Focus. we teach people to kind of on the fly to listen, because you, you can't know everybody's profile, mm -hmm. but you can listen for keys. Mm -hmm. We tell them always start with responder doer. Mm -hmm. responder, if you don't know. Who if you they don't are. know. That's good. And and wow. interestingly enough, mm -hmm. you'll get you'll get an answer. Well, we are out of time, but I hope today's program has encouraged you. Conflict and miscommunications are a part of life, but they can be worked through. And God often uses these very situations to build patience, love, and Christ-like character in us. So if you're struggling in any of your relationships, whether it's with your spouse, your sons, your daughters, your friend, your family member, your coworker, don't give up on finding healing and common ground. And uh, if you want prayer today for restoration or healing in any of the re relationships we've talked about, uh, again, that's why that number's on the screen. We'd love to pray with you. We have amazing prayer partners that are standing by, or they're standing by ready to pray 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can also go to daystar.com, click on prayer, and uh, we pray over all the prayer requests that come into Daystar from around the world. I want to thank Anna and Gerald for joining us at the table to learn more about the life languages and how to apply them to your personal life, be sure to pick up a copy of Speaking of Love and also Communication yes. IQ. And uh, you can apply these, of course, with um, relationships and business. I know Fred talked early on with me years ago how he worked with the police department mm -hmm. and they were able to solve a lot of communication issues and problems that were going on in the police department by just learning the language. Also, be sure to visit Anna and Gerald online at lifelanguages.com and for more on their marriage conferences and to find out how to take the life language assessment. As always, remember to join the conversation after the program by leaving us a comment on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. We love hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you understand everybody a little bit better. Understand you have all seven but you'll settle down to like two or three. But I tell you what, to know what language your spouse speaks and your kids, yes. it will help so much in communicating and it'll just bring a more peaceful atmosphere. I hope you've been blessed by this. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for today.